Traveling is tiring business and my weary bones are looking for a place to rest for the night. I've heard things about the Grand Hotel in Austria, but I'm not convinced that they deserve my business. Perhaps a sampling of strudel and coffee from the cafe will convince me to stay for the night. Hey everyone, my name is Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph. I'm here at Board Game Geek, and today's episode of In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek store. And today we have Grand Austria Hotel, which was designed by Simone Luciani and Virginio Gili, and published by Mayfair and Look out spiel. Now I think my table at the cafe is ready so let's go ahead and get down to the table to go a little more in focus on Grand Austria Hotel. In Grand Austria Hotel, players will be competing to please their guests by offering their favorite food and drink, all while preparing rooms for guests, making some money, and sprucing things up for when the Emperor visits. Each round the first player will roll out dice and assign them to actions according to their pips. This will create the pool from which players will draft their dice. Players will each have two turns in a round, but turns are executed using a snake draft, meaning the first player will do one action but won't get to go again until the last turn of the round. On your turn, you may first bring a guest to your cafe if you have a space, and then you may take a die. You will pick a die from one of six columns which dictates which action you take. The more dice in that column, the better that action is. The first two columns allow you to gain strudel, cake, wine, and coffee. If you take these actions, you will be able to assign cubes directly to guests in your cafe. If you completely fill their food and drink needs, they will stay in your hotel, gaining you victory points and any bonuses printed on the guest cards. But first, you need to make sure you have a room ready. The third column allows you to prepare rooms. The amount of dice in the column will be the amount of rooms you can prepare. Guests want to be in certain colored rooms, so try to prepare your rooms accordingly. You must always prepare a room adjacent to a previously prepared room, and as you build up, you'll have to pay money to prepare them, although they are more valuable and gain you victory points. The fourth column helps you gain money according to the dice in the column, or go up the Emperor track, which will help gain you points and benefits when the Emperor visits throughout the game. The fifth column allows you to hire employees. The more dice in the column, the cheaper it is to hire them. Employees offer a variety of one-time bonuses, ongoing abilities, and endgame scoring. The sixth column allows you to mirror one of the other actions, using the dice in its column to determine the power of the action, but it comes at an extra cost of $1. As your hotel fills, you may complete blocks of rooms of one color, which will trigger bonuses earning you money, points, or Emperor track advancements. In the third, fifth, and seventh round, the Emperor visits to check on the hotel. Depending on where you land, you may gain an added bonus, but if you slide down too far, you receive a negative effect as you didn't focus enough on the Emperor who is now offended. There are politics cards that are objectives players can go for and claim any time they meet the requirements. At the end of the game, you will gain points for filled rooms, points from employees with endgame scoring, and extra money and food you have on hand. You will lose 5 points for each guest still in your cafe, however, as you were unable to convince them to stay and now they are just loitering there forever. At the end of the game, the most successful hotelier wins! Grand Austria Hotel really makes you understand just how tough it is to run your own business as it's a real struggle to prepare rooms, hire the right staff, and make cake good enough that people are convinced to give you all of their money. And if Grand Austria Hotel seems like a game you think you would enjoy, consider checking out its page at BoardGameGeek.com. There you can find forums, reviews, and join the discussion. And if you're looking to upgrade your next game night, go ahead and check out the Board Game Geek store today. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy. I've been here at Board Game Geek, and we have been going in focus on Grand Austria Hotel. Have a great day.